All right, so now you have some basic idea about creating web pages, adding some HTML code. Remember, you you can't just put HTML code in codepin.io. You can put it in any HTML editor. In fact, if you use Windows, you can put it on a Notepad file. If you use Mac, like me, you can put it on a text edit file. These applications come pre-installed with your um, with your operating system. Even if you use Linux. I'm sure you'll have something, some sort of text editor. If you just search in your applications, you will find it. So you can put the code, you can play with it, and then save it as a file with any name. Extension, remember that the extension of the file should be .html. And then to see how the code actually appears on a browser, just open that file in a browser. So that is all that you need to do to play around with with what you have learned so far. So where should where does the does this go now? The idea is that what you have seen is just the basics. I'm not I'm not putting you down, but these basics are very important. But you have just seen the basics now. In future courses, hopefully which I'll be making, um, we'll be covering these things in detail. We'll be going in more information on HTML and tags and more things that you can do with HTML. We'll be even going on CSS. CSS basically stands for Cascading Style Sheets, which allows you to add styling and formatting and divs and colors and everything to your web page. So without CSS, any web page in, in a way is incomplete. You do need CSS to actually decorate, to actually format your web page. And we will be going through that in detail so nothing to worry about that and when you are done with that you may want to go ahead and learn some javascript or jquery to add animations and um, all those fancy things to your web page that you hover your cursor onto something it disappears or it automatically appears it gives different sorts of animations there are different libraries that you can use to do that now, these are all a later stage thing right now the best thing for you to do is just play a lot with what you have learned make sure you are expert into what you have learned so far and try and learn more i mean just my tutorials are definitely not enough to make you good at html web development or all those things go ahead and search for other tutorials if you want to or use books there are lots of ebooks available on the internet you can even use that you can use wikipedia to research more I personally use Google about anything so go ahead and do that and keep learning guys if you learn you grow if you grow you succeed in life all the best and we'll hopefully see you in a future course cheers bye